Welcome back to day three of PDAC with Robin Birchall of Guiani. How are you, sir? Yeah, good this morning, thank you. You're a recent addition to the company, I understand. That's right. Uh, I joined the company at the back end of last year and just before we did a, a small financing. Um, you raised $2 million? Yeah, just a little bit more than $2 million. We also uh, took in some cash. We have uh, some uh, holdings, liquid holdings in some other companies. We sold a little bit of that at the same time. Right. And before joining Gani, you were part of another management team that took a project through to mine production. That's right. Yeah. And now you've left that to do the, hopefully the same thing here. Yeah, that's definitely the, the plan. And our metal of choice? Uh, look, what, what we're really interested in here is manganese for the battery market. So it's a little bit different than uh, for the steel market. Uh, and that's something that's, that's taking a bit of education with people to explain. Why is it a different um, formulation, different size, different flake? Well, the, the, the best way I can explain it is, if, is maybe to think about coal. You know, you have thermal coal and coke and coal. They're not interchangeable. Right. You have something similar in manganese. You have direct shipping ore that goes to the steel market, and then you have high-grade ore which can be turned into very high purity um, manganese flake that goes into the cathodes of the batteries. And these two things are not very interchangeable. And you have the EMM. Well, so far the, the indications that we have are a very high grade uh, material that can be used to make EMM. So what's next then on the company development path? So right now we've been doing all our budgeting uh, and planning for the field program. Uh, we've got our board meeting actually in a couple of days time where we will approve the budgets and go ahead with the, it's a drill program and some geophysics. Um, and then also we have a little bit of metallurgical t testing that we're doing at the same time as well. Okay. Then um, drill program should be done by late summer? Yeah, no, we'll be a little bit early on that. Uh, I think the, the drilling program will be going through April, so we'll start to have results uh, in April and, and a few more in May. The, we have some material that's on site right now, so the, we'll have the drill results that will come you know, directly from the drilling, right. and then we'll be doing the metallurgical testing. We'll start the metallurgical testing you know, very soon on the stockpile, and then those, uh, that testing will go a little bit into May, and so we'll have you know, a series of results in May, and then in June we'll probably have the resource. It, was this meant to be confirmatory drilling or resource definition? So this is, uh, this is resource definition, but you have to remember that you know, the, the, the overall scale of the deposit, we have a pretty good idea of that. Um, you know, these are not very big deposits. It's not like the, uh, the, for the steel market, those are, you know, 40, 50 million tons. This right. is about, this will be about 2 million tons. And you've got to think about the economics of that, which is that, you know, the, the EMM material sells for about $2,000 a ton in the Chinese market right okay. now. And our costs, you know, rough numbers, maybe 330 to produce that. Right. So we're making a margin maybe of six or 700 on 50,000 tons. It's pretty good money. Good value for the shareholders. Yeah. So come on back uh, when those drill results are out. We'll follow up on that. We'll help plan the next stage of the company's development. Yeah, absolutely. We'd love to come back and talk to you guys again. Thanks for your Thank time. Thank you very much.